This is an ultimately upgraded 555 tower. It shoots lightning, tornadoes, the address of the milk store your dad went to 17 years ago. Usually, each monkey can upgrade one path five times, a second path two times, and a third path zero times. This mod eliminates that restriction. Can this overpowered modded tower beat the hardest level in Bloons TD6 on the hardest difficulty? Yes. Oh, whoops, I just spoiled the whole video. Okay, but what if I didn't know which tower it was going to be? I'll get a random tower each round and try to win. That was a lot more difficult, but I didn't know any of this at first. We must go back to the start. 0BR before randomization. Last time I tried to beat Bloons with only one tower, I used the wizard and was insulted by a maelstrom of internet gremlins. One of them I hunted down and fought to the death. I promise not to do that again, unless someone says something stupid. Then a Bloon got passed on the second round. I'm not giving up on the wizard though. You can see there are 100 rounds, showing this is the hardest difficulty. You can also see this is not a wizard monkey, showing that I'm a liar and you can't trust me. This video could at any moment turn into a Clash of Clans tutorial with no warning. Round 6 to 10 are as usual. Round 11 is where the mod starts taking effect. I upgraded my dart monkey to 3-3, an otherwise impossible upgrade. Triple catapults for triple results. Then they were fired by crossbows. Then they got bigger, eventually leading to this. One modded tower replacing the job normally done by 50 regular towers. If you can't tell, I won. This one tower destroyed chimps mode, but this was only the easiest map in the game. Could it handle the might, the raw power of an expert map? Muddy Puddles, a short map where balloons alternate which track they run down. Which one tower will I use? A sniper could deal global damage. A plane could deliver me pizza, but a sniper could hunt wild pizza. This is a fictional world. I can believe in whatever I want to. I don't have the hardest difficulty chimps unlocked on this map because I'm not addicted to the game. I don't want a life where I hear the sound of balloons dying more than I hear my own family. Oh, so I play other games. So once again, everything before round 11 is standard. Then I bought shrapnel shots. I can't lose. Oh shit. I mean, oh darn. I am on one life. That is not a good number to be on. Here's a graph of how unhappy I am about it. At least it's more like chimps mode now. Look how close this was. Why is this game giving me adrenaline? My ancestors got excited by chasing mammoths off cliffs, but I'm feeling enthralled by seeing three green squares next to each other. And now the balloons die before they even come on screen. Dead before they even exist. So abortion. Now for the round 40 Moab that ends so many muddy puddles runs. Oh, that is worryingly impressive. I beat round 80 with the sniper. I could have gone to round 100 to see if it beats a bad, but instead I went to sandbox mode and sent 50 fortified bads at the same time. It destroyed them. I'm pretty sure it could beat round 100. The plane also would have worked, but we are just getting started. This is where I figured out being able to make decisions is too overpowered. So I started to remove my frontal load. Then I found there's a balloons mod that will remove my decision making for me. Less expensive this way. So can I beat these levels if my tower is constantly randomized? One AR after randomization. This dart monkey will turn into something else. Each number is a new game being loaded. I struggled with this mod. This dart monkey will turn into something else. Yes, a druid. And if I upgrade him, a dart monkey with two upgrades. Another dart monkey turns into a submarine that turns into a plane. Each time you upgrade a monkey, you randomly get a monkey of a similar total price. Placing a village might turn into a farm. You buy an upgrade for 600 coins and your new tower will be worth somewhere around 1800 cash in total. To get used to this, I'll play with multiple towers first. The hardest part will be camo and lead blues. I can't just buy a ninja or camo detection village. But once I had an ice tower attacking half of the map, I knew I'd won. But can these towers beat a boss event? They may be strong, but usually the most important part of boss events is farming. And I can't choose to place banana farm. I started with a few tax shooters, then got my favorite tower, a supply crate with no upgrade. This does nothing. 11 AR. Computers are difficult, all right? It started well. I got a dart monkey catapult, which we know from experience is good. On round 39, I had gotten one farm. It earned 200 bananas. That's not enough. So when the boss arrived, I was slightly not confident. They tell you that all you need to pick up ladies is confidence, but they don't tell you it doesn't work if you're poor. The boss arrived and my dart monkey was not confident enough. It managed to take down the first skull, but that just released an even faster boss beneath it. I lost in shape. Maybe I can use Geraldo to help me. Nope, he was randomized out of existence. I did the entire thing again for some reason and lost. A waste of my time. But I have an idea. Maybe the key to beating it is using only one tower. You'll see why as I try to beat a regular map with one randomized tower. I started with a sniper, which swapped to attack. I changed to a dart monkey, but one got away. I can't lose any lives, but I don't have enough range. If I upgrade, then maybe a boat with just enough range. Bada bing. The boat made it to round 23, but here is the problem. Next wave has a camo blue. Only like three towers can see camo. And if I upgrade four times and ran out of money without finding one, I'm screwed. So I kept choosing the cheapest option, prey. The spike can technically pop camo. Finally, I found a plane that pops camo and lead and can take us all the way to round 50. 
but now it gets tough. I got a sniper, but it was too close to losing. Since I have one tower, it needs to be able to pop every type of blue. Most can't do that. With perfect upgrades, only the boat, plane, sniper, super monkey, dart monkey, helicopter, I guess glass monkey, the more I can, that's garbage, darling, but we're just ending, Jeff, Okay, a lot can, but only like four of them would actually win. The boat managed to get to round 62, then I quit before I lost so I can restart on that round. But every time I do that, the tower randomly changes. I don't think taking out a loan will help me win. It, a druid that can't see camo. A darling that I can't be bothered manually aiming. A super maelstrom. That could be good. I will lie in wait, preparing for my time to strike. Face my tornado of doom! An endless storm of blades that- Oh, it isn't endless. I got a catapult that barely beats 62, yet, but is specifically made for 63. Then went back to another sniper. The sniper's a bit too strong, so I'm changing it to a super sun god monstrosity. This has the ability to teleport around the map. It beat the end of hard difficulty round 80, but I have to get to round 100 to prove it can beat chimps mode. Whoops, I just misclicked and upgraded it in the middle of round 96. I have to find something that'll win fast. Uh, maybe a helicopter will work. Nope, that and losing badly. Oh, uh, what about this? Oh my god, they're all gone. So anyway, the 555 boomerang is very, very strong. I won. It's time for one randomized monkey on an expert map. Flooded Valley is difficult because it's half water and half useless. Luckily, I can place a boat down first and any tower will stay up on the water, but that doesn't make it easy. I got a bomb tower early on and tried that. If this were chimps, I would have already lost. A ninja monkey that drops spikes on the ground helped me with round five. Oh, it's already difficult on round five. Oh no. Everything should be easy until round 24. Wait, what's happening? My arrows are shooting sideways. That's, that's impressive. I think having to constantly tread water while aiming messed him up a little. I started again and got a boat that wrecked everything. And then a druid that wrecked everything's mum. Round 32 was a struggle, so I upgraded again. I got a necromancer wizard, which I was dubious about, and for good reason. He also fired completely the wrong direction. What is the coding of this game? But he managed to survive. So I upgraded 15 times, ran out of money until I got a wizard who could shoot straight. Now round 40. I have to beat a Moab in this tiny space. I tried the wizard for fun and it didn't work. A glaive lord didn't work. A bomb built specifically for killing Moabs didn't work. Then I waited too long and lost and had to start all over again. Boat into tack, tack into mortar, mortar is crap. Snapper gives pizza, piece of crap. I found a dartling that's doing it all for me. Damn it. I have an engineer that cleans the balloons but doesn't kill them. And I'm out of money for an upgrade. Come on. Damn it. I've always said Spike Factory is the best tower. Here's a bonus scene early. The 555 Spike Factory can beat 2,000 bads, but it's too expensive for me to ever get on this run. So back to a helicopter running back and forth desperately. The time has come again, round 40. Is a half-leveled sniper enough? Nope. Wait, maybe it will work. Ah, I don't know. Stop it. Ah, oh god. Okay, it won. But round 47 was too close, so I upgraded 20 more times and found an Apache dart ship. Which doesn't he camo, okay? I told you Spike Factory was the best. I think he's shooting sideways again, but it's working regardless. Oh my god, I got the perma spike, the most powerful tower in the game. It can take bads down by itself, but it can't pop lead. I restarted and have a bank that I can't upgrade. Luckily, this tower is a boat and three planes. Seems like cheating, but it can't beat round 63. The 524 sniper, however, can barely get through it. I've never seen an ice tower try to solo round 70, but it's working. It's even taking down the Moabs. So close. I restarted and got a ninja. Not quite good enough, but if I upgrade, oh, I got the 555 sniper. I'm pretty sure this can win. Once you reach around round 70, you have enough total money spent to randomly roll the fully upgraded sniper. So if you get to this point, you can definitely beat the whole level. This isn't even sped up. This is normal gameplay. So is that the end? No! The sniper might be overpowered and can easily beat any map, but overpowered is exactly what we need for the boss fight. Instead of buying lots of towers, what if I spend all the money on a single tower so that by round 40, I have one super strong tower to beat the boss? I won't have enough for a 555 sniper, but maybe a 333 sniper could win. An engineer let me save up money so I could roll for the sniper. By round 39, I ended up getting a 442 dart monkey. And it's garbage. I tried again and somehow got this 444 bomb shooter. Bigger explosions, Moab damage, bombs that shoot bombs that shoot bombs. This is probably my best chance. It's killing the regular balloons with ease. This looks wrong. <laughs> it's shredding the boss. It actually beat it. The first tier of boss is dead with randomized towers. I managed to get one basic banana farm and kept going until round 60. There's a lot riding on this. If I lose to this boss, I have to restart and lose my bomb tower. I don't know if I can get back to this again. It was half health when I might have got through and I had to start over. A boat with three planes failed and then I ran out of money. Then I upgraded a spike factory to a village and this happened. Uh, so that's l skill. It's pure genius strategy. I'll explain it all later. I beat the second boss. But this will lag out my game if I keep infinite spikes around. I had a boat carry me to round 80. And now I know it's possible to get the 555 sniper. The only problem is there are this many other possibilities. Getting the sniper would take hours of re-rolling. So 
super monkey didn't work, dart monkey didn't work, how about I save you time and skip to around 257 AR? No, this is not the same strategy as last time. This time the spikes only come out when I press the ability. That means this is fair and balanced. I won. I kept that tower for around 100, but DDTs are too fast and got past. What can deal 500,000 damage and is cheap? The tax shooter from BTD1. 600 AR. At this point, I just kept upgrading and resetting the level until this glitch happened again. This time we have infinite explosive spiked mines. So that works. Final round, 120. Can I beat it without abusing a spy factory glitch? I have a maxed 555 boomerang monkey that I'm confident can solo it. And I also got the spike factory glitch again. It's going all right. Okay, I'm definitely not winning. I restarted so many times. I lost count of the AR after a thousand. Nothing worked. I've seen this loading screen more than my own face. I got a max boomerang and sniper and embrittlement next to a village and it still didn't do anything. I could give up. But now I'm angry. It's Geraldo time. Yep, I turned off the randomization. I'm abusing the cross pathing mod to destroy Lich. <laughs> So you want to enter your parents credit card and buy a 1500 pack of gems then unlock another builder. 